Hello ladies and gents and welcome to Project Hospital. Brad here today and we're going to start a brand new hospital. We're going to start a clinic first of all, like a little GP doctor clinic and then we'll slowly build up towards a hospital and we'll take it slow. It's a very chilled out game. It's been out for I think it's a few months now and to sum it up in a few words it's a more mature, bit more realistic two-point hospital or theme hospital. So let's get stuck in. So we're on a 64 by 64 map and our first objective, which is going to be our objective for the first video, maybe the first couple of videos in general, is just building up an emergency clinic. So just building up a doctor's clinic. In the UK, I would say it's a bit more like a GP surgery. So we need to build some foundations. So let's We'll just do something very basic at the start, something like that, 30 by 25. Then we're going to need to add some walls. So let's go for, let's be boring, let's go a brick wall. Let's make the outside work, but we'll make the inside look beautiful. So let's go with, just want something to build with at the minute. Let's go, blue's my favourite colour. So let's go with a blue interior to begin with. So let's get some walls just there. Let's have the entrance. These are sort of four, well, a, a double sliding door. So let's have this. Let's have it there in the middle of those two la uh, lamp posts there. And we'll just extend that little bit of pavement, floor thing that okay so the first thing we need to build is a reception area so what I thought we could do is sort of like do like a a glass enclosed reception area or sort of like a bit more of a modern doctor's clinic a bit more of a modern building so if we do something like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have the wall here, so that mirrors the door. Then we'll go to there. So what I thought we could do is sort of have these these windows, these tall glass windows maybe. A bit like, I'm not sure. Maybe something like that, because we're gonna need a door. So let's get a restricted area door. So that means that patients cannot go in this area. And then do I like that? I think I do. So in the emergen emergency clinic, we need a waiting room, at least one doctor's office. So that's what we need also with a restroom. However, we can also have a reception we can have a cleaning closet, we can have a common room, we can have a corridor and an elevator planner. So we'll use all these rooms in turn. So I'll show you what they are one by one. So th what the reception does is the reception makes sure that the, the higher priority patients, so the patients which are normally feeling worse, those patients, the more serious patients, they're the ones which will go to reception. The reception will then tell the doctors there's a higher priority patient waiting in a nutshell. So all you do is you can click on this. So this is in the management mode. You can just drag an area. Let's, get, let's do, yeah, let's do something like four by, four by three for the minute. And if you click management mode, make sure you're on management mode still, and you click on the room, you can see all of the items which can go in this room. You can put any item in any room, but these are the items which are suggested for this room. And then anything in orange, that is absolutely necessary. So you need to have a PC in this room. It's also suggested that you have either a bench or a chair or a fancy chair, something for patients to sit and wait. So let's do a desk. Let's do two eyes. I'll put in some corners. Corner, corner. I think let's get one PC for the minute. And then we can always add another one if we want to. So we're going to need an office chair. So let's get, what color should we go for? Well, let's stick with the blue. 
If you click on this game mode, you can just sort of see how that looks. Yeah, okay. So then also here, so the main thing I've learned in this game, if you're playing with money, so if you have got unlimited funds off, you do have to be careful of money. You do earn grants through completing objectives. However, you will get into a point in the game where you might be a little bit low on cash. So we want the hospital to look good. So we want to put in the furnishings, the decorations. However, we just need to be quite careful with our money. So then in spirit of that, let's just get a few decoration sort of bits here. We'll get a small one and a big one. And we can plop the printer onto one of those. Lovely jubbly. Decoration wise, we can get a clock. A clock will probably be handy for a receptionist. And then maybe just get something like a flower. Just something nice and simple. How does that look? Yeah, okay, I like that. I think that's actually quite realistic. That's quite a realistic kind of thing for a reception in a hospital or a doctor's surgery. So I like that. Now what I thought we could also do is really use, um, if you go on building mode and you go here, decals, you've got some really nice decals in here. So what I thought we could do is we could get the reception, which is the bell. We'll make sure it's a blue, a blue bell. Oh, I can't go there, it can go there, so we won't be able to see it. But the patients, oh that's not a good colour, let's go white. So the patients know exactly where our reception is. Lovely. So that's our, our reception area. Floor wise, I think for the minute we'll just go with like a wooden floor. Something simple, I think at the minute would be the best way to go. So that's our reception, our main area. I think it would be nice to have at least some seating. So let's extend that out. What I thought we could do down here is like a staff area. So sort of we could ha maybe have our common room. So that's where the staff go to chill out, take a break. We'd have our cleaning closet. So that's the room that the janitors use to keep their cleaning trolleys in and their supplies. And maybe a staff toilet, something like that. So let's extend the reception out. Something like two more. And what we'll do, let's take this wall. What does this one look like? Yeah, that's nice, I like that. Something like that, let's go right the way down there. And we'll go across. And we'll go across there. In that section between, we'll get a double door. And in this section here, I wanted to make a kind of corridor. Do I like the idea of a corridor? Yeah, let's try it. So let's do something like this, uh, that one there, a bit like that. We can actually tell the game we want this bit to be a corridor, like that. And that means that corridors will also be a priority for uh, janitors to clean. If you don't have anything assigned as any room, the janitors, I believe, will clean it. It'll just be a low priority. So let's get a restricted access door, because obviously we don't want our patients coming in here. I think I'm gonna have this as a cleaning closet, and this as a common room. I think so. Cleaning closet. There. Let's put a door in there. We'll go with something nice, something like a glass door. Something like that, that's nice. Floor wise. Yeah, something like a black floor, something quite industrial. So we need a sh at least one shelf. I believe it's one shelf per janitor. So let's get two shelves for the meantime. We'll get two bucket carts. It's R to rotate, by the way, or the scroll button on your mouse. 
We'll get in a sink. Seems like quite a good idea. And let's get a plant in there just so it's not too bare and lifeless. And le yeah, let's also get a, get a clock because the, the janitors are going to need to know what time it is. Let's get that above the sink. And we'll get a bin as well. Okay, so common room. Again, we'll get a, gla a nice glass door. I'm going to go this end. But I'm also going to get a door here. You can come straight into this corridor if you wanted to. This end of the common room, I'm going to do... Actually, I'm going to build a staff toilet outside of the common room, not outside, outside. Something like that. We'll just get a plain white door, but you can get to it from either side. So let's select that as a restroom. And we'll simply put in a toilet, a sink, and a hand dryer. Something like that, really simple, nothing fancy. Let's just put some white tiles in. And for the walls, we'll have white tiles and white wall, half and half. Something like that. For the common room, let's go for like a light wood panels. Something like that, I think would look nice. Well, actually, let's go for the darker one, the darker wood. And if we get the darker floor, I think that could look quite nice. Yeah, it's a start, it's a start. Janitor, the cleaning closet. I don't know if I want black walls, I think that's a bit morbid, isn't it? It doesn't look too bad, we'll keep it how it is, we'll keep it like that. Common room, let's, let's select our area. Oh, I'm missing equipment. Oh God, what's going on now? Uh, common room, no. How do I? Planning only, not on foundations. Remove rooms, there we go. Sorry about that, how to make a nightmare. So that's our common room. So what's missing? Ah, so what this means is it, it doesn't think there's a toilet in this room because the hand dryer is blocking the use of the toilet. That's why the toilet's gone yellow. So let's we'll just chuck that hand dry at the top there. There we go. So that's now there's no new there's no notification saying it's not working, so we know it's good. So common room, these are all the things which we need. So we'll get a dining table up this end. We'll just get a couple chairs for that one. And we'll put let's put a cactus on top. Also a good space for a clock. Okay, notice board in the door there where people can put up all their notices, things to sell, all of that crap. Let's go for a sofa, something like uh, there. And then if I move that coffee table, you can put the TV on the coffee table. And then the bookcase next to it. Yeah, okay, I like that, I like that. Need some lockers. Let's get a couple of lockers there. Kitchen wise, let's do let's have some drawers, a cabinet with doors, then we can get our fridge, our coffee machine, and a sink. Lovely. Okay, so that's a really nice little room. That'll do nicely. Is there any more decorative? We can put, what's this? Poster info. Yeah. So it's yellow, meaning it's. Um, we would still be able to see it. We'd still be able to say see that that poster is in the room, but it's technically not functional. So let's all put something like that. And we'll probably also need a bin. So let's we'll put a bin underneath. Down those books again. We can see the notice board. You don't actually, I don't think you actually see the staff going up to the notice board, so that's not too much of an issue. Okay, that's nice. Okay, 
I don't know if I like the wood in the corridor. So let's get something like what's that white floor. Yeah, sure, that's good. And we can get some stickers for the rooms. So here we've got the cleaning closet, haven't we? So that's cleaning closet. These walls are white at the top, so we'll get blue decals for that one and a blue one for the common room. Just so they know what room's which. Okay, now is there, is there a rest room one? Rest room, we'll get that, that side. And that side, because again, we can still see it. Lovely jubbly. So, that's our little staff area there. What else do we need for our clinic? We need oh, we need some seating in the reception area. So let's get some seats for the patients. We'll go for white seats, something a bit different. We'll just get one there. We'll get a blue chair there. And let's get a coffee table. Let's go for a lamp. Do you ever use a lamp in a hospital? I don't know. Okay, so that's a nice little sitting area. I. If I'm correct, I don't think you normally get too many people sort of trying to sit in the reception area, so I think that will do. I don't know if I like the wood in the reception. Do I like the white floor? Yeah, okay, I think that looks nice. So, we also need doctor's office and waiting room. So, our waiting room, how do we want to organise this? Let's have our doctor's offices on this wall. One, two, three, four, five. So that's one, two. Then we'll leave this area as like a waiting room. And then let's leave a one, two, let's leave a four gap. And then we'll get two opposite as well. Four is plenty to start off with. Door wise, we'll just go with a, a door with a blue strip with a window, I think. So I think it looks better if we line them up. So something a bit like that. We'll sort out windows now, actually, it's probably easy to do it now. So let's get window 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 and window window let's get one on that side i think then we get a couple there like that is that too many oh that's too many windows isn't it let's do something like that yeah i think that's a bit more appropriate floors in the doctor's offices let's go for a can we get like a check yeah let's get like a check something a bit like that we'll continue the wood floor at least for the meantime oh okay okay the clinic is coming together and then waiting room we can have it start there and that area and then if we do let's carry on a few white benches we'll do that actually I'm going to do that and remove those because there we can get vending machine water dispenser there we'll get a little coffee table with a flower We'll get a nice plant, I don't know, something like that. Next to the plant, we'll get the Q machine and the Info TV can go there. So what this does is this means if you don't have the Info TV or the Q machine, the doctors have to come outside of their office to collect the patient. So you, you reduce the amount of time that your doctors are seeing patients because they're coming out of their clinics to come and get a patient. So with this, the patient is automatically called with their ticket number. So then they just walk to the doctor's surgery that they need to go to. 
So that's a little waiting room. We can get a few more benches just up there. We can add more as we need to. So, doctor surgery. I personally prefer my surgeries to all look a little bit different. They're not going to look massively different. They're just going to have the same items but in a different space. If you have every item in the same space in multiple doctor's rooms, it can look it can look a little bit unrealistic, I think, anyway. Because in the real world, it might be a similar layout, but it's, I don't know, I think it's quite rare it'd be exactly the same. So let's all do trooper items in all four at the beginning. Yeah, okay, so let, let's, let's kit it out four at the beginning. And we can add as necessary. So exam table, that one can go there. In this room, it'll go in this corner. In this room, it'll go on that wall. And in this room, it'll go on the back wall. So see what I mean? We're putting in the same item, but we're putting it in just a little bit differently in each room, just to make it look a little bit unique. Let's get a red bin there, a biohazard trash bin there, a red one. I think red is biological waste and yellow is hazardous waste, is it? I think. Then we'll get yellow bins there and there. We'll need disinfectant in each room. We'll put that above the bin in each room. Okay, so desk. One's cheaper than the other, I think. So this desk is only $99. Dollars? Yeah, dollars. So let's get let's get a brown desk. We won't go for too much blue. So you can look out the window. You can look at a wall. You can look at a wall, you can look out a window. Office chairs, let's go blue. So the blue arrow means something has to go there. So, so this chair here, look, it's just not really doing much. As soon as I go near that blue arrow, it just automatically chucks it in a position that it has to be in. PC, everyone's going to need a PC. There, there. You're having a problem with something, so let's put you there instead. It's clashing with something. We'll get the seeding mounted examination light because these lamps they can look a bit bulky and a bit horrible. So let's get the ceiling ones. So they go over the bed. There we go. We're also going to need a mobile EQ cabinet. Oh, mobile equipment cabinet. Let's go for a different colour. Let's go for a green just to keep the colours not too blue. You can go there, 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 there. Eye test. So we'll get one there, get one there, maybe one there, and there. Okay, so you need a printer or a paper holder. Well, paper holder is much cheaper, so let's go. We'll get two paper holders and we'll get two printers. Lucky doctors in this room. And then we need an audio meter and a CRP scan. Is that C reactive protein? CRP, I think. So let's get equipment covered up. I don't know if I can place any equipment beneath the eye test. We'll get one there, oh, one there. One there, one there. Here, we'll go one, two. Here we'll go one, two. So audio meter, audio meter, audio meter, audio meter. CRP, we'll go there, there, there. And there. Awesome. And I like to have a fancy chair in the room. Because it just means that the patient can actually sit down. I don't think you'd be expected to stand up in a doctor's surgery. So and you can go so not there. Have we got any room for plants? Yeah, let's get some plants in. I don't know how realistic that is having a plant in a actual diagnostic room, but Okay, so this is the start of our clinic. So the last thing we'll do today is we'll get some staffing and maybe we'll see our first patient. 
so staff wise as you can see here any room that requires staff it's going to have this here it's going to say missing staff so there's one for every um, doctor's office and there's one here in the reception so we need at least one receptionist so if we click on the nurse icon we need a nurse and we're going to need a nurse which has uh, where does it say this receptionist so it needs a receptionist skill so every one of these nurses we can hire and we're very lucky every one of these has a receptionist skill they actually all also have a patient care skill and some have a higher patient hair skill or a receptionist skill than others for example Rachel Hill has got a fairly low receptionist score but Margaret Davis has quite a high, well, high and higher receptionist skill. It also tells you tells you their salary. It tells you, I, I think this icon is like a how well suited they are for the job. So are they are they a good nurse? Are they a, are they a level three nurse? Or are they sort of like an intern? Have they just started out? Are they a, a level one nurse? And also, you can see the the traits which these which these uh, applicants have. So there are lots of different types of traits. It's a scholar, so this means that Margaret Davis is a scholar, so that means that she uses her free time to study. Uh, Rachel Hill is a gamer. Oh, I know the feeling, Rachel. So she rests much faster. She's also she also has clean feet, such so as very clean shoes, so she does not make the floor dirty. Those are all of Rachel Hill's perks or traits because that says zero. However, Margaret Davis has one more. She's got a hidden perk. So she's got something that we don't know about. We can see this by this button here. So it reveals hidden perks, but it costs you a thousand dollars. We can also um, refresh this candidate list for two thousand five hundred dollars. So let's go for Oh, I'm not sure. Let's go Margaret Davis because she's got the highest the highest receptionist skill and she's a scholar, so you, she uses her free time to study. So Margaret Davis, you are hired. We are also going to get a let's get at least one janitor, at least at least one. Who we're going to go for. So I think we should try and save a little bit of money, so Daniel Scott, your rest levels decrease slower, but you do move slower. Okay. Daniel Scott, you're in. You're in, mate. I trust you. I trust you. Doctor wise, let's go for two for the first day. We'll see how the first day goes. And then if we need another doctor, we can start filling out these rooms here. This just means the day shift and the night shift. I believe you cannot have night shift doctors in, the, in these GP surgeries, these doctor's offices. You can just have day staff. You can have receptionists and janitors on the night shift. So let's get... You have a lot of hidden perks, Sarah Scott, don't you? So here, the skills we want to look out for are general medicine and diagnosis. However, the people with these higher skills, they are a lot more expensive. Can, you know, the difference between Sarah Scott and Frank Walker here is well, it's double. So let's... Do you want someone fairly high? You look quite good, Thomas, because you use your free time to study. And you've got a fairly high general medicine and diagnosis skill. So yeah, let's go Thomas Martin there. And for this one, so... You're a night owl and your rest levels decrease slower. Okay, so let's save a little bit of money. Let's go for someone like Frank Walker. We don't know what that perk is, but we'll, we'll see what it is. We're going to game mode because that's our hospital is ready to be opened. You see that the open emergency clinic, that objective has gone away. We now have a treat one patient per day. And our hospital now accepts patients. So let's start. So our clinic opening hours have started. We'll speed up time a tad. 
So the really cool thing about this game is you can actually, well, I'll show you, you can completely control what happens to your patients. So Frank Martin, hello. We're going to follow you, not stalk, follow. So you've came in because you have some symptoms. We don't know what those symptoms are yet. You have four hidden. Your doctor is Thomas Martin. Oh, maybe a relative, same last name. So let's have a look. So what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Mr. Frank? You've got numbness in your fingers. I can, well, you can't feel it in your fingers. Okay. So then these are the available examinations. So these are the things that we can do. This is what's happening at the minute or has happened. So I believe that means he's had his interview and he's currently having his physical examination, as we can see. Oh, boobs out. So let's... I don't know. Oh, okay. You have Raynaud's syndrome, which causes numbness and coldness of hands, fingers and toes. I can feel it in my thing and toes as a response to cold outdoor temperatures. Oh, it's cold. And we treat this by vasodilators. He's having them at a minute. He's also having some analgesics, or something for the pain. And vasodilators, they will dilate the blood vessels. Relax the blood vessels, yep, okay. So you're going to be treated shortly, Frank. We have that. Oh, yeah. So you're gone. So we earn eighty eighty dollars. Sorry, from that. We've got a new objective here of opening a radiology clinic, so we can start looking at that next time. Just going to have a look at Daniel Rodriguez here. So he's with Frank Walker. So he's got a few symptoms here. He's still got two hidden symptoms. So the doctor thinks it might be bronchiostasis sarcoidosis or bronchitis so let's do a chest ousticate out out at oars quotation can't speak okay so this is a stethoscope exam is that done much oh yeah okay so it's narrowed this down so it's a 50 50 split okay well you can't do so you're going to need an x-ray on your chest aren't you yeah no clear diagnosis okay so let's leave it there today, guys. And then next time, we'll get in the radiology clinic. We'll help poor Daniel. And what I'll do, so I remember, I shall... I'll change it to player control. This means that Daniel now appears down here. So next time, we'll get the radio, radiology clinic. Sorry. So we'll get the x-ray clinic. We'll have a look at Daniel and we'll try and treat him. Thank you for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please subscribe and like. And I'll see you next time. See you later. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, post a comment down below, and please follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep updated. See you later.